this is absolutely incredible. Welcome back to Adventuring with Angie. Last week, I explored the sun-kissed landscapes of California, weaving memories with friends and nature. This week is about more than just traversing trails. It's about tracing the contours of my soul. This week, I'm on a journey to own my confidence, to breathe trust into my bones, and to craft a world that I've always dreamt of. Come along as I hammer away my doubts with a new build, wade through new rivers with friends, and embrace country living with the Sam Hunt concert. I didn't need an alarm to move today. I'm feeling alive from last week's adventures and suddenly awake to some new feelings. In the last year of my relationship, I began to shut down. Morning, let's go for a run. I went into a sort of self-preservation mode, doing the bare minimum, checking out in the day and counting down the hours until bedtime, truly the only break I felt I had. During that time, I stopped trusting myself. I have been dragged out to take these. Your two best friends in the whole entire world. <laughs> we have my two best friends in the whole world to take these people to the river. <laughs> and we are going to a little local spot. So, you know, they needed a guide. I'm happy to oblige. I lost my sense of self and I didn't feel like I could connect to anything. I spent a long time numb to the world in order to get through my days. And I spent a bit of time after the break in an even deeper funk. But last week sort of changed that. We absolutely love a quiet river day. <laughs> How are we this spoiled here? I've felt this shift coming for weeks, a subtle vibration strong enough to rattle what doesn't belong. And last week I saw my own growth showing up in my reality. In all of my relationships, I've been looking for someone to light a spark in me, looking for someone to ignite something I didn't think I could tap into alone, but I've been doing it all wrong. I've been giving my energy, this life source, as a sort of currency in exchange for love, except the love is not the love I need, only by the time I realize that, I'm usually drained entirely of the source. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Seeing the last week of adventures, how I show up and the energy I have for this life week after week, I see now that I am the person with the light, but I couldn't see it because I was illuminating everyone else. I'm an innkeeper. Where are my dues? <laughs> I'm not an innkeeper. I can't do that anymore. And knowing what it feels like to have this energy, my energy, I can immediately see when matched with an equally vibrant energy, like the friends from last week, I'm left feeling replenished and alive, and when offered something less than, I feel down and bummed out. We're done with trash. We're done with trash. I'm so excited. Let's go start our Tuesday for real now. <laughs> Suddenly, it's just not sustainable or acceptable for me to entertain anyone who does not pour into me what I pour into them. When you're leaving us, I'm leaving, so I'll be back soon. Bye. Back for more adventures. Bye. 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 Go home safely. I will. <laughs> I wish I understood this sooner, but without this recent experience, I'm not sure we would have gotten here. I'm lucky to see it so clearly now, and I have some really wonderful friends to thank for showing up for me in the ways that I needed. I don't know what the future of my relationships will be like, lovers, friends, jobs, but I do know that they're all going to change. And while some probably won't make it, I'm ready to write new relationship narratives for every type of relationship I could possibly have. Happy Thursday. Look who I'm with. We're gonna do a trip to the hardware store and I'm so stoked because we're finally, finally, finally getting wood for the deck platform. I have dreamt of building a small glamping cabin on the corner of my property. And now that the land is cleared, we have to build a deck for it. I've never built anything on a foundation and the idea of squaring everything is making me a bit nervous. But with Oval's patience and support, I feel pretty at ease during this build and my construction confidence is growing with every screw I drill in. Is that it? Yeah, you're fucking not sure they're looking. <laughs> Help me! You're doing the thing like you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. I'm the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Having this much fun on a build feels foreign to me as my prior projects have often been stressful. I found out at an early age that being the best would save me from outside critique. So I pushed for perfection everywhere in order to stay safe and somewhat invisible to the world around me. Perfect! Oh my god, I'm so 
perfect. <laughs> As I got older, that perfection became harder to achieve and the bar I'd set for myself became impossible for anyone else to meet. It's incredibly toxic. It was a horrible way to live for me. And while I loved the caliber at which I was executing, I filled my mind and body with stress and I wasn't very pleasant to be around. This build, like so many things in my life as of late, is so very different. All I did was flow and let everything flow with and around me. Call me Angie the Builder because look. And seeing that something beautiful can come from <laughs> such a low stress mentality is changing how I want to approach everything I do going forward. <laughs> the summer sun became unbearable. By 2 p.m., drenched in sweat, I wrangled Chris and the three of us set out to explore a new trail to the river. We've been to this river spot before, but we normally hike the switchbacks in. Last week, I learned there's an off-road trail that will bring you directly to the water, but not everyone likes the road. <laughs> I don't know if it was the high of seeing the deck come to life or just a new wave of inner trust, but I decided we should try it out, and I'm so glad that we did. Oh my gosh, so we just finished up the river, and as we were walking out, I heard water, and I thought, wait, I think there's something over here. Oh my god. This is... Absolutely incredible. This is awesome or what? <laughs> As I stood by the edge, gazing at the cascading water, I felt the weight of apprehensions lift, replaced by a sense of wonder and security. This is who I am, and I don't ever want to doubt her again. But it is nice to do this trail because it's rocky, but it's not, it's not impossible. It is Friday, 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 Friday. Oh, we're gonna go for a little jog. Me and that boy. You coming? I'm off too, I guess. Wow. All right, catch me on that hill. This hill, bro, it doesn't look that steep, but I start way back. There. Enzo made a friend. <laughs> it's been a magical week. Like just so renewing and so restorative. And I just am like, I'm filled with so much joy. You know, just genuinely, I didn't know life to be like this. And I really love it. I returned from my run to find Chris ready for the day and looking for an adventure. Christina's down in the water, swimming across, and I climbed up on top of all these rocks, and I'm trying to kind of like, just weave my way across over there. I felt like a child again exploring the rocks, fueled by my curiosity and unburdened by the world around me. I absolutely loved hiking up the river and spending some time grounding in the waters. All that matters here is opening to the wonder surrounding me and being present. It's cold. Refreshing. We found this canyon that goes all the way down and we're gonna float down it. That was absolutely incredible and we're leaving to go pick up my friend Jordan who's coming into town for the weekend because we were going to a concert together. But absolutely beautiful. We'd love to come back. 10 out of 10 gorgeous. <laughs> never swam through a canyon like that before. Really I know. Cool. That was really fun. Mm -hmm. I've never done that either. As we got back to the house, we used the time to unwind. And because I really didn't use these berries before, I decided now was the perfect time to bake a little blackberry tart. And I saw her very close in Portland. I'm not obsessed with her, but um, she still performs really well. 
I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gay. <laughs> Janet's doing it to me. <laughs> yeah, like there's something happening. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Galette. Rustic Galette. Rustic country galette in the oven. Yes, chef. Yeah. <laughs> in this scene, we have Angie staring at a bee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. How's the galette feeling? It's done. It's looking great. It's spilled over a little bit. It smells that's delicious. That's great, though. That's a little jam in here. It smells delicious. <laughs> mm. Oh, she's, she's good. Yeah. She held together. Did you snack your gray glit? 10 out of 10. It's really good. I've really never had anything better, honestly. Flaky, yes. flavorful, delicious, perfect cook. The filling, tart, sweet, delicious, goes great with the ice cream. I can't ask for more. It looks great. Just leave it as it is. <laughs> I was on such a high from the deck build that I really wanted to keep it going. So I asked Oval to come by on Saturday and see if we could do the next steps of bracing the deck before laying the boards. I had no idea how exhausting this part would be and I'm so glad that we knocked it out today. Oh yeah, it's just level. All the work is done from this morning and it is time to play. The sun is out and it's hot and I have Jordan here with me and we are at the lake. <laughs> Jordan's arrival infused the air with excitement, and even though it's been months since I've seen her, it served as a great reminder that friendships transcend distance and time. Good morning, happy Sunday. So I'm gonna do this little run this morning. The rhythm of my morning run echoed a steady beat that carried me through the adventure of the day as we made our way to South Lake Tahoe. Okay, so I made it to Tahoe with Jordan and we're getting dinner right now. Jordan and there and this food looks so good and we're very excited to go see this lesbian country star. That's <laughs> what we're most excited for and the um, espresso martinis. <laughs> Here we go. Sad that we're leaving you. <laughs> I know, I'll miss you guys. See you soon. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> at the venue, the night air buzzed with energy as we joined the chorus of voices at the concert. Thank you for joining me on another week of adventures. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a story. Next week I make some progress on the deck, find myself on another date in the woods, and lean all the way into my personal practices. I can't wait to share more and I'll see you next week. <laughs>